That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives, and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? And this isn't about me. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the Chief. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Hey, <laughs> great! Unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Medjed.
damn it. I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too. But still, it, of course I want to do something about this. Yeah, we'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against, and what... Furthermore, they must be in a position of power, or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we... end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Yeah, running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this! Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's me. Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed, and the added bounty... It all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. You too? It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be a Phantom Thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice. But that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. We've... There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Okay.
government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. We don't have to go down with a sinking ship. We have the power to change this. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before, but this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in sai Sun. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And I can't allow such a thing to happen. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? 
As expected from Anijima. So, Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now, but the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is... because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it, too. I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the Metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi couldn't kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a Phantom Thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as Phantom Thieves would still be met with hostility. <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? <laughs> I 
Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus. It seems you're completely worn out. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. All right. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace, so I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. A girl shouldn't say things like that! You tell her too! Fall for it! Ahem. Also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? Huh? What about my smartphone? Oh. This is the model I wanted! You're so lucky! I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... Uh, well... It's okay. 
Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Uh, Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh! <sighs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You've got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. She's praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai-san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been there are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling, then! How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. I definitely see Sai-san in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Beginning navigation. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. <laughs> Courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though, whenever arrests are made for her cases. I have brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me. He'll need a codename, too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then. Perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our codenames are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu... He'd be the only Japanese-sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? 
All right? From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. This means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Dude, you planning on stealing stuff in that getup? It just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. No. This is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. Well, I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. That aside, the people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? Ah, yes. In addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. That probably didn't make much sense because all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since these look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. But considering what I see before me, it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful. Particularly of those in positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? Hmm. This is a first for me. I'm somewhat nervous. Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. Okay, it's time we head inside. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. And you, of course, will need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card, as always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? Will you please stop interrupting? My apologies. Well then, let's go. I feel somewhat nervous. I have something. Welcome. Come on out, you petty thieves. She can see us? 
You're after the treasure, are you not? Come on down, and I will tell you where it is. What? We're not going to fall for a trick like that. <laughs> it's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. You aren't going to run, are you? We should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. So you've come. The treasure is located on the manager's floor, at the highest point of this building. Why are you telling us this? It's as I said before. I wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible. First, I ask that you come up to my location. We will continue this there. Damn it! Over there! It seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come, Joker. Let us pursue her. Let us get after her, Joker. I have something. Authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Member's card? Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak! Just give me it straight! Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even have areas cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... A shadow! As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Here it comes! No need to worry. I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you, after all. I promise to surpass even such lofty hopes as those. Don't worry, you can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood! Manifest! Now, Robin! Go down! You're right. The crucial moment's finally here. 
Give it all you've got. Okay. So he... If you wish to perform fusion, let us begin the search. Power requires sacrifice. Do not expect much power from this. Do not expect much power from this.
What are you waiting for? What are you? This is what it shall become. Then let us begin. Change your mind. The inmate needs our guidance. You wish to perform. Can you gather them up? Looks pretty tough. You wish for more power than you can handle? You Are you finished? What? No slacking off! Yo. Okay. You should be grateful. Uh, come again. You'd like to read that these are the paths you have walked. This a fee is required. This is your power. Done already? What? It is time, inmate.
You bastard! All right! No way! doesn't know what Good morning. My sister is... serious. Her determination to win this fight is reflected in that casino. She won't be easy to beat. I know that better than anyone. I want to understand our situation as soon as possible. Let's go to the palace today. Sorry, but I... Class is starting. Well... What's going on?
Grisson. I'm sorry for asking this of you. It's all good. Not like I have customers to deal with. So, this is what you grew? Yes. I'd like an honest opinion from a culinary professional. Let me see. To be honest, both the taste and appearance are the opposite of what I'd call market grade. I see. But it's impressive you managed to grow anything at all up on a rooftop of all places. I'm honored to hear you say that. You know, I can't say it tasted good, but it was actually somewhat refreshing. Kind of like how you feel good after taking bitter medicine. Hmm. I first came across the plant in my house. It's possible that it's an experimental breed created for use at Okumura Foods. Thank you very much for the input, Sakura-san. I'll take note of that. He's right. That was the same thought I had. I think I understand what Sakura-san meant when he said they were refreshing. I didn't expect this hobby of mine to provide value to the Phantom Thieves. This is actually the only thing I can honestly say I'm good at. Thank you for worrying about me, but I find the work relaxing. Hey, um, do you think you could help me out again sometime? Like you did today? It's a deal! <laughs> We're like real Phantom Thieves! Okay, I'll do my best from now on. It seems you were probing into a certain conglomerate. There's the possibility you even infiltrated their company building. Perhaps some sort of connection? Tell me about this person. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Empress Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Still, he was right. The taste leaves much to be desired.
Yeah. on you. You know... So... we go? Actually... Thank you. All right. All right then. Hmm? 
Ah, thanks. <laughs> hey. Good morning. Speaking of which... See how you're doing. This is it. Oh, not bad. No way. Nice going. I was just thinking of you. Oh, were you? Yep. How should I put this? Our battles from this point forward are only going to get tougher, right? So, I've been reflecting on our approaches to combat in the hopes of finding some new tactics. In the end, I came up with something. But I realized I'll need your help with it. Me? Sure. 
If I can be of any help, I'd love to work with you on this. I appreciate it. So, what I'm thinking is... Mako-chan? <laughs> now that I think about it, this is probably going to sound rather absurd. Don't worry. If it's your idea, Mako-chan, I'm sure it'll be great. I'm glad to hear you say that. Well, ready to hear it? Huh? So, any thoughts? What a great idea! I'd be honored to help! Oh, thank you! Well, I hope it works out. Mm-hmm. Just leave it to me. But wow, Mako-chan, you come up with some pretty bold moves sometimes. I really look up to you for that. Do you? I'm not sure how that makes me feel, but <laughs> thank you. The star will grant us our wish if it's based on such a great plan. I'm positive. So, this is the location you've been using as a hideout. Can we just get started? Forced investigation will take place on November 20th. That's our deadline this time. Is there any possibility of that investigation being moved to an earlier date? I highly doubt it. How could you be so sure? Didn't they want to catch us as soon as they possibly could? They may be corrupt, but they are still a bureaucracy. Certain steps must be taken in order to continue forward. Unless their situation becomes extremely dire, they won't act with only circumstantial evidence. I'm impressed, Detective Man. You sure know a lot about internal affairs. Yes, he is quite promising. Well, this is a purely give-and-take relationship. You taught me the inner workings of the Phantom Thieves, so it's only fair I return the favor. And I will be sure to contact everyone if the investigation team makes any odd movements. That would be helpful. All right. Listen up. Really? Listen up. Uh, that's... Very well. I should write something. <laughs> 